Welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp, but to my left here we have Sianna Emery of the track team. She is this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. Uh, she is a race walker for the team. She earned her first All-American honors of her career in the last uh, walk. She finished 8th in the 3,000 meter race walk, making a time of 15 minutes and 54 seconds. She is the 6th woman to become an All-American race walker in the last 12 years. Sianna, first off, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. So, how does it feel to be this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week? Uh, it's really nice. I That's definitely something that I had in mind going into Nationals, um, that possibility. So, and especially after after last year, I didn't do very well at Nationals, so that was, it's a nice kind of validation, I guess. <laughs> and I'm sure you use that as motivation to right. get you ready for this. And uh, as a reminder, again, only a sophomore, so that two years right. for this event. So, again, big congratulations Thank for you. that. Thank you. So, again, a very different sport, you know, not one that is usually talked about, mm -hmm. but noteworthy here at Goshen. But so as you talk about, what was your mindset going into uh, just overall track season or particularly race walk going into this season? Um, this season, I came in to the season um, kind of dealing with a number of injuries. And so my mindset was mainly just to fix, you know, heal from those and try to try to come away with couple performances that I was proud of so um, that was the main thing yeah and you know recover from those injuries not push yourself too much right. risk getting hurt and having to sit out longer very very smart decision mm -hmm. again as uh, is shown through this last event so uh, again uh, you talked about injuries and even you know you can train you train during the fall part of the right. year what did you even do over the summer to get ready whether it be physically even just mentally ready what all mm -hmm. did you do over the summer um well i'm part of the cross country team as well so i was mainly training for cross country just getting a lot of that base work done um building up endurance and strength we started adding more of that this year so i think that that helped um, mentally, just kind of getting myself in a mindset of um, enjoying the sport and um, whatnot, rather than rather than just being there because I had to. So. And that can be a big part. Just being in a sport is kind of hard to do, but if you really enjoy it, it adds right. to the fun and helps you compete at a better level. For sure. So uh, again, you know, not only do you uh, race walk, you know, your cross country team even do other stuff with the track team. Uh, knowing the culture of that team, how have they helped or what did they do before you end up going to nationals to kind of get you ready for that for that race? What did they do? Um, well, the team as a whole, uh, especially is just really supportive. Um, they they show up to our races and they're there cheering us on, which is really helpful because it's generally a smaller meet. Um, so that's really nice. And this year, we definitely worked as a track team to try to build up a more of a supportive atmosphere. So that, that helped a lot. Um, and then also just having the the me and the other two race walkers get along really well, and it's a really good vibe going on. So it was just all positive going in. And even with an individual sport like race walk, the fact that other track members mm -hmm. were able to help you and give you support. I remember going to a race walk and seeing the support. It's mm -hmm. fantastic to see. So it's definitely shown from the track team. So uh, uh, again, just early for at least track season in general. Uh, outdoors still coming up here within the next few weeks. But so far in track in general, what has been your favorite moment so far? Um, ooh, it's really difficult to choose a single moment. Um, I think that just in general are now the the opportunities that I've been given to to travel um, on three nationals trips now. I think that that's it's a really great opportunity for some bonding with a smaller group. Um, obviously, this year uh, getting to be all American was really nice. I actually wasn't when I finished the race. I didn't think I was. I thought I was ninth, but then it turned out that a girl ahead of me had been disqualified. Um, so finding out that news was really exciting. And again, you know, I don't, I don't think some people realize how difficult it still is, though, to make nationals right. and to do it as consistently as you have is very impressive and great that, you know, you still enjoy every mm -hmm. minute of it. So, you know, still doing great with nationals for all different sports and everything, mm -hmm. but you still got two years ahead. Yes. Just in general, what are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to getting physically stronger and um, 
more mentally tough and just finding that self motiv- self motivation uh and i i am looking forward to hopefully um bringing down my times and getting prs um the ultimate goal would probably be to get a school record in either indoor or outdoor for race buck and uh, i know we all look forward to that especially myself to see <laughs> how you do over these next few years Sian, with that, any final thoughts, comments, inspirational quotes that you want? Oh boy, um, <laughs> I guess it's I guess just for athletes in general, just work hard. Um, I this year have have been mentally challenged with what with the injuries and everything. So I think just being able to persevere, um, you'll come out on the other end. So. Heard it here from Sian <laughs> every first, everyone. Sian, thank you so much for your yeah, time. No really problem. appreciate it. Mm-hmm. With Sianna Emery here, I'm Tanner Camp for 574 Sports.